Hey gang, what's good? Welcome back to Pillars of Eternity. We're here at Heritage Hill. Just saying the word. We're heading back on into the old Poopa Tower. Gonna find out what happens when we go to the top and say the magic words, baby. Maybe, um, maybe by the time we get up there, old Aldheim. Aldhelm. What was his name? Ald something. He'll have eaten himself, and he's like turned inside out. He started eating his foot. Eating like his toenails, and he's just like, mmm, delicious. And then he just starts eating his foot, and he works his way up to his knees, like, mmm, delicious, very good, very good. And then he just keeps going and going, and then he eats himself inside out, and then he's an inside out person. Oh no! <laughs> That's the real horrors that have occurred here. Forget all the people turning into terrible, spooky monsters. This Aldhelm guy, he's, he's the most horrible horror of all. Uh, let's go to the top. And maybe, um, once he's turned inside out, we'll just throw him off the side, and then we'll we'll activate the, the great egg, and we'll find out why the hell Aloth is being creepy as hell wanting us to use the power of the egg, when, like, this whole time I thought Aloth was, like, a good dude. But apparently Aloth is, like, a shit-eater? What the hell, the Aloth? Can Hi? we talk to Aloth, actually, now that I think of it, and say, Aloth, why are you such a shit-eater right now? No. Okay. Ready Aloth, when you are. I got my eye on you. I don't, I don't like how s- Mmm, I don't know about you, Aloth. I don't know about this. Alright, let's see what happens. Don't, before we start, don't these look like little dudes? Like birds? Like that's an eye and then that's like a- Like the beak or something? Or maybe they also look like those drinking birds, you know? That, that like go bunk, 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 bunk into water, like a little cup of water or something? You know what I'm talking about? They either look like a Mayan bird or one of those drinky birds. Just say the I don't word. Know what they're called? Are they just called drinking drinky birds? I have no idea. Let's quick save <laughs> and talk to this dude. Do we need to talk to him? Yeah, we do. Okay. Aldhelm looks much worse than before. His rotten flesh hangs loosely, and sores have eaten away patches of skin at his joints. He looks at you with a strange glimmer in his eyes. Flesh. Ooh. What? He takes a tentative, scuttling step toward you. He doubles over, coughing up strings of black bile. He seems to have forgotten about you for the moment. Is he trying to fight us? Uh. Our quest updated. Let's let's read that real quick. Let's see here. <laughs> Deal with the Anguithan machine. The Leaden Key was interested in this tower for a reason. I need to understand what it does if I'm to figure out their plans. The Acolyte showed me a vision of an ancient tower. Yeah, we know about that. We saw the vision. Um, Aldhelm has degenerated significantly. He looked ready to pounce on me when I tried to talk to him. If I want his help, I'll need to send a victim to him. What? I don't need his help. Fuck him. Um, a jagged... Audra Pillar rises in front of you in case in stone. Yeah, we've, we've heard of this. Um, the panel is covered in runes, which you can now understand. You recognize words for end and for hold. The dial is currently fixed on hold. You also recognize by an inscription that the manner in which you turn the dial is a means of throttling the device. Maximize the machine's throttle in hopes of overloading the device? That seems bad. That seems real bad if we try that. Like, that seems like that could go real wrong real fast. Um, Can we just talk to him again? When Aldhelm looks at you this time, all trace of recognition is gone. He bares his teeth and leaps at you. His pupils narrowed to pinpricks. Uh-oh. Well, Aldhelm, you, you done it now, boy. You're toast. Pretty Hit him with the are. good stuff. <laughs> Oh yeah, by the way, I, I leveled everybody up. We got some, some goodies. See, I got, I got my new finishing blow. Edder got his new sundering blow. Hope with uh, DR. Um, what's his name here? Uh, Durance can do dire blessing once per encounter. Seem, seems like a good one to have once per encounter. Speaking of which, let's just do that. And Aloth can do exposed vulnerabilities, which seems good as well. All good in the hood. Ah, thank you. Uh, there we go. Smack the shit out of Alright. 
We dealt with him. Um, I'll need to send a victim to- No, I, I can't do that anymore. I wasted him. Okay. Uh, oh, his journal. Okay, this seems useful. Let's take some of his flesh. Mm. Aldhelm's journal. Ikanta insists on pursuing her own research on the tower, despite my argument that pooling our knowledge is in both our interests. With her expertise in the Anguithan language, I'm convinced that she knows more about the tower's workings than she lets on. Oh, man. So he didn't keep anything worthwhile inside of his fucking journal. Uh-oh. Well, I wasn't about to sacrifice yeah. some innocent person just to get that information. Like, if that's the cost of... of doing business, I don't want to do business. I'll fuck up and do something on my own. I don't want that guilt. Alright. Let's pick end. Let's try that. As the command words leave your lips, the dial sinks into the Adra under your hand. Something like a thunderclap sounds overhead. The glow fades from the machine as it falls dormant. We did it! Right? Uh-oh! I thought it went dormant! What was that? Oh, I got taxes. Hell yes. Uh... Just say the word. Okay. The clouds are coming back. Let's see here. Oh, did we just complete it? Job's done? Hmm. Maybe we should go and tell Lady Webb yeah. about this then. Is that it? Okay. I was expecting some kind of horrible encounter. Maybe, um, Aldhelm was supposed to be that, but we're just so powerful now. We just stomped his penis into a little fine dust. Uh, proceed to the bottom. Maybe there'll be something waiting down down here for us. I don't know. Should we have overloaded it? I feel like that's not good. I feel like maybe that would that would make its reach extend past Heritage Hill. And that doesn't seem like something we want. Um, yeah, taxes. Bada bing, bada boom. All this stuff. Nairi, read the deft hand. Makes a beeline for... With your coin in hand? What? I can't... Get this bastard? Oh no! <laughs> what a guy! How do we get him? Hmm. Hmm. Nairi the Deaf leaves the stronghold. Oh, uh, okay, I see. Right there. Yeah, I must have uh, just ignored it. Ready oh, when well. you are. We got so much money, it is no big deal. Unless they steal, like, a percentage of our money, in which case that is a huge deal. In which case we're back to, like, the poverty zone. Which ain't great! That's not something you want! Alright, Lady Web. We're coming back. Rolling back into town. We're gonna tell you all the good news. We're gonna tell you the good word about what transpired at the, at the tower. Ooh, look, it's foggy yeah. again. We're gonna tell her about, like, how we fought ghosts and goblins. Should we talk to, um, what's her name, though, inside her little cottage up here? Maybe we should. There's no harm in checking in, right? There's no harm in that. Let's poke inside. Yeah, and then we can go talk to Lady Webb, and I guess we'll, we'll head to a different area, right? Maybe we'll head to, um, Deerford? Those areas on the eastern parts of the map? I don't know. Something like that. Seems like a good idea. Yeah. Uh-oh, she's not here. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, is she back here? Has she gone buck wild? Oh, no. She's missing. Okay. Well, that's... That's... That's not something you want. All right. Oh, before we forget, we may as well just heal up in the middle of the road here, right? There's that campfire. Like, I, th I guess we're done with Heritage Hill? I don't know. Maybe there'll be a quest toward the end of the game that has us go back to each of these Fabergé eggs. Ready when you are. Maybe that's something we should be aware of. All right, let's uh, yep. and then let's let's all gather here and rest up. Uh, yeah, we we increased there. Yeah, see, we got this racial accuracy and all that. I increased um survival on a few dudes. Like Edder, I don't know. He's got so much athletics. I don't think he needs anymore. Maybe I don't know. Let's rest. And let's grab this one. 
There we Say go. the word. We're all topped off on spells and health and all of our goodies. Let's see. Um, yeah, travel to Deerford Village. I guess we'll just go to Dunreed Row and talk to her about this. Right? That seems like the right thing to do. Yeah, let's do it. Let's freaking do it! Oh, what's in here? Is that another... Yeah, it's another fire. Well, I guess if we... If that quest thing that I was talking about ever occurs, we can come... Oh! There! That's the nice man who helped me! Oh, it's Seda, the little girl, remember? And thank the eye and arm for it. We'll get you stored out at the keep. Oh. Yeah? Good job, Justiciar, helping out the poor little kid. The tower! It's off! Does this mean the curse on Heritage Hill is lifted? It wasn't a curse, but yes, the district is safe again. I guess. I just moved a dial on the machine in the tower. <laughs> Defiance Bay owes me. Better get a manor in Brackenberry for this. Um... I don't know, let's tell him the truth. I guess. I don't fucking know what I did. I'm fucking dumb as hell, dude. So you turned the tower off by accident? I suppose we should wait a while and see if it's really safe. So... If so, uh... Good job. Yeah. Ready when you are. Fair. Fair response. Alright. Um, let's see. Where was she at? She was at Brackenberry, wasn't she? I think so. Hmm, did we ever explore all of Andra's gift? I can't remember if we went inside that lighthouse. It's been so long since we've been back in uh, Defiance Bay. Hmm, I want to say we've been inside the lighthouse, but maybe we should go there just to be sure. Right? That seems like a safe bet. I like making safe bets. I'm not a gambling person in real life. I'll gamble away fake money Ready in a video game, but... In real life, man, I won't even touch a loot crate. Like, like you know, those, those services, loot crate? God. Not big on the loot crate. Like, I, li I like to... If I'm spending money, I want to know what I'm getting. Specifically. Precisely. Alright. Um... Oh, here it is. Yeah. Huh. Hail, Traveler. Uh-oh. Is this gonna be trouble? Excuse me, but I've been looking for you. You're the one who lifted the curse on Heritage Hill. My lady, who wishes to remain anonymous, has entrusted me with bringing you this pistol. It belonged to a dear friend of hers who was lost to the curse. For your part in reclaiming Heritage Hill, my lady wishes you to have it. Here. May it serve you well in battle. Thank you. Wonder how much I could get for selling this. Is this all? I'd have expected more. Uh, no, I use pistols, so thanks. It might be a good one. Saint Garam Spark. She bows. You are quite welcome. Now, I must be off. Farewell. Toodaloo. Oh, look at her go. Toodaloo. What the hell did we get? Oh, here it is. Um, oh, it's not as good as our current weapon. What a son of a butt. Shock damage, though. Let's see here. What's it, uh, what's it got going on for it? I don't know. Let's see, uh, compare, fell stroke. Yeah. Hmm. 22 to 30. 29 to 39. Yeah, that's no good. Extra accuracy when attacking the same target. Hmm. Yeah, I guess it's just not that good. What was ambushing again? Oh yeah, ambushing is dope. Okay, what does this say? Saint Garam was a priest of Hylia. Uh, known for his mastery of the art of wordplay said that he could shape the mood of a crowd with a single word and find the cruel precision the most shocking and find with cruel precision the most shocking turn of phrase with which to dismantle an opponent one more whimsical daughter of the deerwood had this pistol crafted in his honor for the gun too she said could put an end to any debate oh clever i like that 
Well, let's stash it. Uh, should we stash all this other stuff? Yeah, let's stash Abidon's hammer. Oh, we can't. Okay. I guess we're just hanging on to it. I guess it makes sense that we can't stash it. It's too... Just say the word. It's too dope to be stashed. Fair enough. I mean, we have unlimited inventory, so it's it's no skin off our back. It's no chicken off our goose. It's no... It's no pee out of our pod. <laughs> Maybe we'll get another weapon. Or another cool thing. Or maybe this gun is, like, cursed. It's a mark. And yeah. whoever this lady is is going to be tracking us. I don't know. Let's see, where is she? She's in the back room, right? If I remember correctly? No. Okay. Is she in this room? Where was she? Oh, she was upstairs, wasn't she? My bad. All right. Old Lady Web. I'm actually a little amazed I can remember your name. But there it is. Old Lady Web. Maybe she's like um, one of the Just lovers. say the word. She's like a lover of uh, the, the old evil beard dude. Alright, Lady Web. How fares your search? Uh, there is something I can tell you about the Leaden Keys operations. Well, let's hear it. The Anguithan Tower in Heritage Hill contains an ancient machine that can control the flow of souls. A Latin key activated it. This is troubling. That civilization seems to have known more about the mechanics of souls than anyone since. The Leaden Key was born in that period. It may be that Theos has full knowledge of their technology. The applications of this machine you speak of. I don't want to think about it. My god, the music is overpowering. That isn't enough to take to the Duke, but we're close. Avar Wolfgrin is a cautious man. He will want to know everything possible before being moved to action. Okay, that's all. Can we ask yes. our other shit? No, we've already asked all about it ages ago. Let's see if we can't adjust this again. Man, it seems like we're always fiddling with this. Look! Look at this! Yet the music is so booming! It's probably because of that bug. This music is, like, extra loud. I still have no idea what's caused that. We'll turn, uh... Turn voice up 5% and turn music down 5. Down 5, up 5. Maybe that'll be enough. Because listen to this. Look, I'll click on my dude. Just say the word. Yeah, loud as hell. Too loud, in fact. That's going to be bad in combat. Here, we'll just keep... We'll keep uh, We'll keep this at 65, but we'll turn music down to 25. God, but the music is really good. Like, this Ready music right want. now is really good. It's just too loud. Ugh. All right, what's next on our list? I guess we're going to Deerwood, huh? No, we'll we'll check out the the lighthouse, right? We may even have a side quest for that lighthouse that I've just completely forgotten about, having spent like forty or so hours in uh, the White March. How many? How long have we been in the White March? My God, we're like on episode one hundred two, right? Or video one hundred two? I don't know about calling them episodes. Roughly one hundred two hours spent. Just say the word. All right. Let's see. There's nowhere else here as well to go. Adelwyn Bridge. Yeah, the Wooden Plains. Maybe we'll go to Searing Falls, huh? Because that seems to be on the way to Deerford. Right? It's the other path. Okay, let's head to Andra's Gift. Actually, let's check real quick and see if we do have a, a thing for... Um... Oh, yeah, what is this? Rest among the hillocks where the dead... Oh, no, well, Maneha's not with us. Hmm. Find the sun-kissed hillocks where the dead folk sleep. Rest beside their wasting flesh. Inspect the dreams you reap. This must be another clue. One that got away, the devil of Karak. Find out where Igarar died. Right. 
Yeah, we know that's the dragon dude. Siege of Craghold, yep. Palagina needs to go to Twin Elms. Battle of Yenwood. Raise an army at Cadnua. Um, give Viana's research to Dunstan. Hmm. Cinders of Faith. Travel to the cave from Firga's vision. Um, the cave, multicolored pools, rising, rising waterfall. Hmm. Oh, Searing Falls, okay. The Long Hunt. Examine a statuette overlooking a the water, Perosk. Okay. Oh yeah, we should actually do this. We put this off. The, um... The gem that we need is actually in there. I had to... I cheated and I looked it up. I can't remember if I said that on... On, uh, on video. But I cheated and, and looked it up. Okay. Yeah, we'll check out. Ready when you we'll are. check out that thing before we forget. We'll check out the uh, the who's the what's, and then we'll head back to Cadnua and and explore into the dungeon. Should be fun. I think it's on floor four, if I remember correctly. The gem that we need. That may have that may be one of the floors that we skipped over because of uh, weird shortcuts and how we jumped down that hole, or maybe we just skipped it like a dingus. One or the other. We'll have to see. I don't know if you've paid, uh, if you've been paying attention to uh, Pillars of Eternity, uh, Deadfire, the sequel. Ready when you are. Uh, but they they showed off their new multi-classing stuff. That ah, man, that looks dope as hell. I want to be like a, I don't know, I might want to be a swashbuckler. I love the the class name swashbuckler. I think it was in like um, a D and D, or maybe it was Baldur's Gate. It was in something. Swashbuckler. Oh my god, I love it. Like, here's a little hint. When, whenever I started my, my playthrough of Oblivion, totally gonna name the class Swashbuckler. Oh my god. Swashbuckling. Love it. What a great word, just in general. Here, let's just set our who's a what's it right there. Actually, we might run into some, some foul knaves along the way. Let's see. What is this guy? Sailor? It's a wonder we didn't riddle our bow full of holes trying to anchor near those cursed Adra things. Oh. Some sort of shackler. Afer is a member of the dozens who organize a harassment... Okay, yeah, fuck that. They want to buy him out. Nah. The sailor gives you a once-over, sizing you up. Ooh, you want to bang? A dozen Adiran ships were shattered against these levees during the War of Defiance. Oh. Best to heed apologies, I find, where tides are concerned. Place gets my blood beating in all the right places. Jesus, Durrance, you're talking you about are. your cock! Come on, Durrance! Jesus! I don't want to know about that. I only want to know about your other staff. <laughs> Good lord. He doesn't even use his staff anymore. He uses a gun. Oh, God. <laughs> Which is probably a more poignant euphemism. The captain won't be happy to hear about this. Uh-oh. What's up, Marcheno? This young, lanky sailor is wringing his cap anxiously, sweat beating on his furrowed brow. His eyes widen as you approach, and he takes a few steps forward. How do you do? What? Oh, oh, okay, yeah. If, if you've got a moment... You're not from around here, right? You don't look like you're from the docks. He looks around nervously. I could use your help. What's the problem? Oh, thank you. They weren't lying, saying you're a kind-hearted steward. He runs a hand through his hair nervously. It's the captain, or rather, not the captain himself, but his chest, or his sea chest? He keeps all his valuables in there. Tucked away safe. I was unloading it with the rest of the things. What with us staying in port a couple days, and... He coughs. <coughs> I may have gotten a little distracted. Marceno nods towards the buildings nearby. I wasn't gone long, just an hour at the salty mast. 
When I got back, the chest was gone. He sets a pleading look on you. It really hasn't been that long. Whoever took it can't be too far. But the shift's changed. I'm on watch. I can't sneak off to look for it. And the captain will kill me if he hears of it. I'll get strung up on the yard yard arm. Please, if you could get it back for me, I swear by the flame, I'll make it worth your while. You can have my pay. I won't be spending it if Captain Fortinero finds out finds out anyway. Oh, I should have been giving him a of alien accent. <laughs> Probably for the best that I didn't know. Uh, any ideas where the thieves might have taken the chest? Well, the chest itself is pretty heavy. Nobody I've asked has seen it getting carried around either. I figure they must have snuck it off somewhere nearby, just out of sight. They can't have gone far. There's a pretty good lock on it, too. So I'm hoping they haven't got it open? Uh, unless they take an axe to it, I suppose. Oh, gods. He takes a breath. If they got it open, I really am done for. What makes you think I'm not from around here? Gut feeling, the sailor grins weakly. I really could use your help, though. You're a sailor? Yes, sir. I signed on about half a year back. The pay's decent in the sight of the sun coming up over the sea. I wouldn't give that up for anything, he sighs. I just wish I'd asked around about the captain first. Mm, maybe he'll be on my ship in the sequel, Marcello! Oh, isn't that exciting? He'll be back in rush hour, too. All hands on deck. Alright, so we have a lead. We could check around the salty mast. I don't know. Or maybe in just a generic building. Ready when you are. What if, it, what if it's just here? What if this is just it right here? Look, a seven difficulty lock. Quick save in Let's here. Let's see what's in here. Else. As promised. Huh. Okay. Didn't seem worth seven difficulty, but hey. Can we actually... No, we can't board the ship. Another sailor. Gosh, we're looking for sailors. It's like Shenmue. Shiver. Won't leave my spine. Body's aching. All the time. Okay. Let's poke on up here. Yeah? What the fuck? That's not good. You don't want that. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, let... Oh. Oh, okay. Ready when uh -oh. you are. Wow. Well, that's not good at all. <laughs> Maybe someone should uh, investigate that? I don't know. Oh, it's Nia. Now hiring builders. No experience needed. Hail, traveler. As you approach, she eagerly turns to you. You interested in doing some construction work? Her clothes are simple, but nicer than most you've seen in Andre's gift. Pays good money! I take it you're having trouble finding workers. Yeah, no shit me. I don't know much about construction. Sign me up! You could try looking for workers in another district. I don't know much about construction. No need! At this point, I'll take anyone who could put hammer to nail. Why so desperate? Because no one will even set foot in there. She shot. She sighs. I've offered good coin, but ever since the floods of Andra's gift, everyone thinks this place is haunted. Bunch of superstitious nonsense. Echoes of the war. The flood suddenly cl certainly claimed enough souls to pack a lighthouse full to bursting. Oh, there's souls of the damned inside the lighthouse. Okay. Andra's gift was flooded? Back at the end of the War of Defiance, it was one of the finishing blows to the Adiran military. Cost us a lot, though. The whole district was supposed to be evacuated, but not everyone left in time. The Adirans put anyone they found to the sword. The lucky ones who escaped the slaughter drowned hours later when Hadrid's forces broke the dams. Locals say the lighthouse keeper was one of the people who stayed behind, and one of the last to die. She shrugs. I don't know why that makes the lighthouse any more haunted than the rest of the gift, but there you have it. Um, have you gone inside? Who, me? 
Not exactly. <laughs> See? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> See, my health is rather delicate, and all that dust. <sighs> all right. When I saw two Almawa deckhands running as fast as they could down the pier, I lost my nerve too. Um, I'll show you how it's done. No, <laughs> I could take a look. Yeah, I could. I could take a look. Good. About time someone put an end to this foolishness. She rummages in her pocket and pulls out a skeleton key. As she hands it to you, she hesitates. Just be careful. Not that I believe in the ghost stories, but it is an old building, so watch your step. I have some questions. Neonauts! What do you want to know? Do you know what might be inside the lighthouse? If only... Nia shrugs. It's been uninhabited since they flooded Andra's gift. What are you building? An inn, allegedly. She brushes a single loose strand of her bun behind her ear. The gift needs a spot with a little more class than the salty mast. This district has been in the dump since the war, since the war of defiance. It seemed ready for some fresh development. So imagine my excitement when I find this place, three floors tall and right on the water, for sale at a reasonable price. Oh, this is it. Okay. This is the foundation and all that. The seller suggested that there were other interested buyers, so I closed the deal before I'd taken time to really look into it. Stupid. She shakes her head. Being from New Ham, oh, I know someone. We knew someone from there. It was um, the guy at the very beginning of the prologue, right? Being from New Hamar, I knew about the floods, but I didn't know about the superstition surrounding the lighthouse. And the cellar was long gone by the time I found out. At this point, it'll be a miracle from the Lady of Lament herself if I make my investment back. Tell me about the flooding of Andre's gift. Hadred ordered it near the end of the War of Defiance. It was one of the finishing blows to the Adiran military. Cost us a lot, though. The whole district was supposed to be evacuated, but not everyone left in time. The Adirans put anyone they found to the sword. The lucky ones who escaped the slaughter drowned hours later when Hadred's forces broke the dams. Locals say the lighthouse keeper was one of the people who stayed behind. And one of the last... Oh, we know about that. You're not from Defiance Bay, aren't you? Yeah, we knew that. She laughs bitterly. <laughs> we gave it away. The, the accent. <laughs> the accent. Or the fact that I was the dupe who paid good coin for the place. I'm from New Hamar. That's on the, on the northern coast. It's smaller than Defiance Bay. So I came here hoping for some fresh opportunities and maybe the chance to do a little good in this neighborhood. Okay. Just say the, the word. The Wailing Banshee. Okay. Well, this doesn't sound ominous at all. I guess we're going to sort this out then. Not a problem. I didn't expect there to be a whole quest line, but I guess, you know, what? what? I should have expected it. We need to remember, though, to head on over to uh, Cadnua. Gotta remember. Gotta remember. Cadnua, Cadnua after this. All right, unlocked. What's inside? Some wailing gobbly goo? Some spooky monster dude? Uh-oh. It's the wailing banshee. Hmm, maybe they should, like, knock down this lighthouse if it's so haunted. Like, that's what I would do. I'd just blow it up. Find the source of the howling noise. Just say the word. Slowly now. Okay. Let's sneak around. Who's it gonna be? A barrel of money. Nice big chest. <laughs> Just how I like it. Oh god, Jesus! Oh my god, that scared me. There wasn't even a noise or anything. You just scared. <laughs> Fuck. What? Fuck me. You fucking ghosts! You spooky people! Jesus. Oh my Let's god. Just seeing them all pop up like that. <laughs> it just really got me. Ugh. Fuck me. Ooh, look at poor Edder. He's, he's having a time. 
having the time of Edder's life. All right, let's um let's do some buff in action real quick here. And Alos, let's see, let's ice him up. Hey. Okay. Well, apparently they are they're coming right at us. Uh, let's see Is that one. My God, her shit is loud as hell. Let's turn down the effects. All right, and hit that dude. Let's see what else can we do. We can make him more vulnerable. We should do that at least. That's how it's done. Let's see. This ought to hurt them, right? Oh no, they're spirits. Okay, fair enough. Um, let's see. Oh, we're good on him. Uh, let's let's try out his new attack. Edder's new attack is Sundering Blow. Oh, cool! He hit with it. Nice. Um, let's see here, though. We've got more business we could be attending to here. How may let's I lay help? down a snowy uh, cloud? Nice. Oh my god, they're exploding into farts. That is never something that you want. Okay. They can't be knocked down, right? I can't remember. Can, can spooky ghosts be knocked down? I don't think so. They're like immune to Alright. Who else is up there? Let's get this specter. Let's try and fly. Helpful. Alright, Aloth, what's next? Just start pelting this shade who's right up on your face. There we go. And let's have you folks come I'm running ready. on over. Oh, nope. Explode into a fart. Oh, this one is friendly. Okay. That's it! I lost a little weapon. Spooky. Just say the word. Over. Well, as it turns out, this entire place was haunted. Like, it very much was. Not a problem. I'll have this open in no time. A tricorn hat. Leather armor. Neat, but no stats on its own. Not gonna use it. Be nice if um, Pillars of Eternity 2 had like a, um, especially since the graphics are nicer, if it had a cosmetics um, row of equipment. That way I could just like wear cool looking pirate gear. A patina of filth and dead barnacles reaches almost to the ceiling. Ready when you are. The glass is completely opaque with grime and salt. Look at this, a big ass op opening over here. Oh, do you think there'll be a spooky menagerie of ghosts? Ah! Yeah, that's right, you can't scare me this time, you bastard. That's right, I'm ready. I know your tricks this time. Vulnerability. Um, indict them. Alright. And let's have hey. everybody attack them. Yes. Go. Hobble shot. Better try something else. That was it. Maybe the shock on my weapon that's not working against rain blights. That makes sense, right? Ugh. It was like, <laughs> grab all that stuff. Okay. The wood of these barrels and crates is swollen and warped as if by water. What are these? They look like giant potato. Oh. <laughs> the prolapse sacks have all but rotted away. They do look like giant potato chips or something like that, right? Or those potato chips that are like mostly potato skins. I don't know. Is that, are those bad for you eating yeah. those, those sorts of chips? I mean, okay. Eating most potato chips are probably not good for you, but I mean, like, more so than a standard potato chip. Because I'm pretty big in Say those. the word. I'm a fan. Margaret's right. fire casts light Let's in see. dark places. What do you think? Will this one have three levels? Maybe. Trifecta of a... Of a tower? Of a, of a lighthouse tower? Perhaps? Mayhaps? We'll find out shortly, when we uncover the spooky banshee wailing. Oh, there's a specter. Specter for the gun. It's a blaster. Yeah? Ooh, 
Ooh, there's a lot of them. Lay down our Combat. icy fog. Ah, thank word then. All right, and buff us up, baby. Ooh, sorry, Edder. Oh God, Edder, you're going the wrong direction. All right, Palagina, launch some garbage back there at them. Let's have the ranged be on them as well. Um, let's see. Let's lay down some of this back here. Uh, let's see, who else? And Palagina, get on the ones in melee. I'm ready. Let's see, Durance also turn and fight these dudes who are at range. I have We may as well have this dude um use his shit, right? Paralyze. May as well. That's it! Old Kana. This fight is mo Oh rats. Here, just summon a fucking Drake. One, two, two. Why not? <laughs> Good god. Kana's not very useful in these quick battles. But on a boss, I'm sure he'll be pretty good. That Drake is going to be yeah. devastating. All right. I shall be, be quiet as a calm sea. Oh, some booze. Which is not very quiet. The compounds and fluids in these bottles have separated into distinct layers. Oh, gross. That's always disgusting. I don't know. Sometimes I'm you open ready. a jar of mayonnaise and it's like that, are. or like a, a jar of Nutella. Does Nutella do that? I... No, it's peanut butter. Peanut butter does that a lot. Yellowed, fading maps of the bay around Andra's Gift shows routes through the locks between the dikes. Hmm. Hmm. That holds the ocean back. Just say the <laughs> that word. That holds the ocean back. Uh, okay. Keep an eye out. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, lighthouse tower key. Years of exposure to the wet, salty air has made this key dull and rough. Evacuation notice, huh? The notice is stiff with age and salt. Adir and reinforcements advancing. Immediate evacuation of Andra's gift by order of Duke Hadrid. Uh, selected correspondence of Giftbringer Iden. What? What is this doing here? I guess we should read this. This is about... This seems relevant to us. Sing, O oh ocean waves of Andra's sorrow for her unrequited love for the unattainable moon. Sing of the ocean's sorrow so that we may forget our own. Each day the tides reenact Andra's longing for the great moon. The waters reach out at high tide, yearning for the heavenly body only to slump into low tide when the moon proves unattainable. You asked me once why I loved Andra so dearly, how I could go from a life on dry land to being a devotee to the goddess of the oceans. I sing of the ocean's sorrow so that I may forget my own. It is Andra's message that speaks to my heart. I have devoted my life to helping others discard painful memories, for that is the gift Andra gave me. When I lost my young daughter, my wife and I were inconsolable until a gift-bearer offered to take my toddler's toys and cast them into the deepest waters. Truth be told, I and the other gift-bearers I know have never even spoken to Andra. Oh, well, I don't... some people have. She is largely silent, and when she does speak... She uses floods and tidal waves instead of words. But we sing of the ocean's sorrow uh, so that others may forget theirs. Andra's story, the story of desired unanswered, actually matters to people like you and me. Magrin, Magrin cannot steer you to victory over sadness. Hylia cannot force joy down a crying throat. Only Andra can give us the strength to persevere when life seems without worth. And that is the answer to your question regarding why I love my goddess so dearly. Oh, jeez. Ready when you are. Okay. 
carved into the post is the name. Ma oh, shit, Merwith. In a series of notches labeled with numbers, the lowest notch reads 4 and the highest notch reads 17. wonder what that's about. Yeah. But wow, Merwith. All right, that's a fucking throwback. Goodness gracious. Oh, look. What Probably be some gobbledygook up in here. Knock, knock. Open up the door. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Not yet. Look at this. Three levels, though. Bam, nailed it. Gotcha. Gotcha, Andra. <laughs> we might have to, like, light a fire up here, huh? That would be touching, fitting. Oh, no. Shit, I was wrong. Ooh, it's Lilith. All right. What's going on, Lilith? Shrieking sobs pierce your ears and rattle the musty rafters of the lighthouse. They emanate from the spectral figure of a woman hovering in the middle of the room. Each heave of her shoulders unleashes another hair-raising wail. Um, let's observe her. We've got 18 perception. Let's do it, baby. Observe the chinguila. You're close enough to notice that the spirit's head is tilted back. Even as it looses blood-curdling howls, the faint movements of its head suggests that it's looking toward the windows and scanning the horizon. The Chinguila's ghostly hands are stained, something dark. At first, you think it's blood, but it's as black as ink. Oh, maybe she was wanting someone, like a, her sailor man, to return, and she was writing letters and with the ink, but he never came back because he was, like, involved in the war or some god-awful thing, and he died, and she's here waiting for him for eternity. That's it? Ready Can when we... you are. Hello! Uh, get closer. Uh, as you approach, the spirit's cries take on a threatening edge. The swirling mist around... Uh, back away. <laughs> what is this? Do we not want to get that close? Look. Okay, get closer and observe her again. I don't know, it's the same observation. It's just a lower requirement. Let's see. Oh, God. Um, the spirit's screaming grows louder and louder. If its sunken face distorts, twisting into a long, gaping mouth filled with jagged teeth. If anything were able to quell the spirit's rage, it would appear not to be you. Observe her again. No, it's just the same thing. All right, let's get as close as we can. Rage boils through the ghostly... Uh-oh. Okay, we don't want to fight her. We don't want to fight her. Maybe we can, uh, um, exercise her. Is that, is that it? We can exorcism the shit out of her. Is it exercise? Exalt? Excite? No, that, it's definitely not excite. We'll perform an exorcism. There you go. It might be this letter that's involved somehow. One of the letters that we that we picked up. Or the letter that we picked up. Just say the word. Alright. Let's see. Margarine's fire casts uh, log book. In dark places. The logbook expels a thick plume of dust. 6, Phonoten, 2672. Foggy, port full, 158 days since sighting the Red Dream. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Six days later, heavy rain, two fishing boats lost at sea, 164 days since sighting the Red Dream. Dark clouds at Aaron's ships, 173 days since sighting the Red Dream. Hmm. Maybe that that's the ship. Um, hmm. The last lighthouse keeper kept a log seemingly into the final days of the War of Defiance. This person was also tracking the appearance of a ship called the Red Dream. Nia might know more about it. Oh, okay. So we need to go back out and talk to I'll Nia. have this I open see. in no time. Let's pop this. That'll down, do huh? it. Oh. Jack of Wide Waters. What's it do? Recovery? It's not that great. Kakuma was a famed Almawa swashbuckler. Oh, yeah. And the original wearer of this garment, she sailed from her homeland of Rawatai to the infamous Deadfire Archipelago. There, she escorted merchant and passenger ships through pirate-infested waters. Among her most frequent clients were the Nasataki dwarves who ventured to the continents to the north and on both personal and tribal sojourns. 
Her fair dealings, bravery in combat, and skill at sea made Kakuma, Kakuma a loved and respected figure in the archipelago and among the Nasataki. Cool, but we don't need it. Let's poke around here more. See what this ghost is hiding. Oh look, maybe we can't go to the tippy top. Uh, Adiran dialects. Oh yeah, this is the the speech guide that I'll never be able to remember. <laughs> um, Lilith Shawl. Shawl. Wow, three perception and a friendly aura of one stealth? This cloak feels so light that it's easy to forget you're wearing it. The unmistakable scent of the, sea, of the sea breeze, cool and salty, wafts from the fabric. Though moth-eaten and ragged around the edges, it keeps the chill at bay. Its, co its faded colors seem to blend in with its surroundings. You found this in the, light, in the lighthouse of Andra's gift. The tower had been uninhabited for a century and a half, and its last occupant, the lighthouse keeper, supposedly died there when the Adirans invaded. It was rumored that her spirit haunted, ta haunted the tower still. Watching for ships on the horizon. Oh. Let's see. Can we talk to her with it on? Will, will she have some sort of reaction? Let's see. Let's just try it out. Why not? No harm in trying. Like, we probably do need to go um, speak to What's-Her-Butt, Nia, about this. But let's try this. We'll have Pelagina hold our old cape. All right. Lilith, what's going on? Check out my cape, it's yours. Oh, wait. Just say the word. Does it need to be me? No. Ready when All you Alright, no dice. Let's see, anything over here? The flame reveal? No. Alright, let's pop on the old one. And, hmm. Does anyone need this? Perception? Uh, uh. Hmm. I mean, Durance might need it. Aloth could use it. Nah, she's okay. Yeah, Aloth and Durance might need it. Well, um... Let's see here. Perception, 12. Tower resting. Aloth's armor. Okay. Yeah, we'll give it to Durance. Why not? Invisibility when crit, yeah, 12, 12 deflection. Mmm, 12 deflection is pretty nice. I don't know. We'll have him hold on to his old one. If he if he starts having Ready survivability issues, we'll give him his old one. Alright, well, when next we come back, we'll head uh, head around Andra's gift and talk to Nia, Naya, and uh, maybe be able to get this ghost, this ghostly lady out of here. Maybe we'll be able to free her spirit um, with some rock and roll. Something, something. Feed her yeah. soul rock and roll. Something like that. <laughs> and then we'll um, we'll take off to Cadnua. We gotta remember, we gotta do Cadnua stuff. That gem is somewhere in there. It's on like the fourth floor or something like that. Fourteenth floor, fourth floor. One of the two, something like that. Seventh floor, maybe. I don't know. One of them floors. Yeah. Um, we'll sort that out and yeah. We'll be ready to head to Deerford after all that. But probably digging through um, Cadnua will take quite a while. Like, I don't I don't know how deep this thing is, but I'm assuming it's going to be pretty deep. I don't know. I don't know if you ever played Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door, but they had a similar sort of um, situation where you would go deep into some sort of uh, underground cavern. It was like a challenge thing, and there was like 110, 115, 101 floors and at the very end there was like a giant super boss that was really tough oh look nia's right here i often dreamed of visiting the republics there at least the people value trade trade of all things it's true and competition between the republics keeps us strong rawatai is a unified nation with fleeter ships someday it may prove a worthy competitor there's more to dominating trade than fast ships Maybe you could write a poem to help your countrymen figure it out. Damn. Jeez, Palagina, take it easy. It's just Kana. All right. Well, when next we come back, we're going to talk to Nia and fucking bust some ghosts. That we're, that's that's the word. We're busting. That's, that's what you do. You bust ghosts. Till next time. Peace. Peace.